Hola bonitas, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and wear test comparing the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Liquid Skin Tint and the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Stick Skin Tint. So I'm very excited to be comparing these, letting you guys know which one will be best for who. And also I'm gonna be doing a wear test. So I'm gonna be wearing them side by side so I can show you guys how they look together. And I'm really excited because, I mean, I feel like these two, everybody's like, okay, what's the difference or like, which one would you recommend? So this is gonna be a really good informative video for that. So if you guys wanna see how these compare and contrast, then please go ahead and do so because you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Fenty Beauty Stick. So this is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Stick. So I see, I already have a review and wear test on this. Um, so if you just wanna watch that before you watch this, then please go ahead and do so. Let's open her up. So this is a stick skin tint. This one is in the shade 11. These both retail for $35 and they both have 25 shades. And I am just gonna swipe that on the face. So the first thing about this is that this is a light coverage type of product. Um, this is also a stick formula. So it's a really good on the go portable product that you can just take and retouch whenever you want to. Or you can go ahead and apply, like if you're in a rush, you don't have time to apply your makeup at home, you can apply this on the go. So what I like to do for this is honestly, I like to just blend it out with my finger and it layers really well on top of the rest of my product. So I only went in with skincare today and I am wearing, where is it? I am wearing the Glow Screen 40, which is why right now I do look a little dewy underneath of this. I just have been wanting that extra hydration porque my skin has been a little bit on the dry side. This is a creamy smooth texture, as you can see. Honestly, I'm not a big like use your fingers type of person, but I feel like with this product, that is my favorite way to use it. It looks great with a sponge or a brush, but just to like really quickly apply this on the go for those days where I don't have much time, I love just using my finger. I feel like using my fingers really gets the job done and applies it really nicely. So I feel like even though this is a light coverage product, I still get really good coverage out of it. So this is what it looks like. I would say, since I've tried these both of these products many times, I would say that with a stick, if you do have very oily skin, I would use a pore minimizing slash mattifying primer with it because I feel like it will definitely give you the best results. You guys can see this is with the stick skin tint. Really like it, super nice hydrating. Like I said, keep in mind, I do have the glow screen on underneath, which is a kind of glowy um, sunscreen. So that's why it looks a little bit more luminous than it would usually look, but it's just the one that's been working out for me. I tend to have more so oily skin, um, but when I have really dry, flaky rosacea cheeks, I definitely do need that extra hydration, which is why I go in with more hydrating products. So. This is this side. Um, I wanted to point out one more thing that a lot of people do talk about in this product. And here you do get 0.32 ounces. You actually do get a good amount of product in here. So it doesn't stop there. There's still more product down here. Can you guys see that there's still a product down there. I feel like you could get light to medium coverage. I feel like this does build up really nice. You guys did see me build it up a little bit and it builds up very beautifully. And this is a long wearing formula. So for a skin tint, and I have tried that, it is really nice and long wearing, which I always love. I'm gonna add a little bit more in here. Another thing I do want to point out that I love about this like on the go portable friendly product is that because it is a stick, let's say you're not somebody that likes to wear makeup all on your face. You just want it in certain little areas so you can go and kind of like conceal in certain little areas where you do have redness so that it kind of looks a little bit better. So that would be my recommendation with this, but I really do love how this just looks on the skin. I feel like for on the go, this is perfection. So now we're going to move on to the liquid. So this is the Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint Liquid. This one does give you light to medium coverage. Again, I do have this one in the shade 11. So this is the same shade as the stick. With this product though, I do like to go in with a brush. I feel like this just applies really nicely with a brush and I feel like it gives me the best coverage with a brush. So this one, I wouldn't use my hands. I typically don't like to use liquid products with my hands i don't know i just don't like the mess i just prefer to apply it either directly on the face or on the back of my hand and then go in from there but you guys can see i will say i do feel like the side with the liquid is a little bit lighter than the side with the stick but it gives you that coverage immediately like this almost gives me like 
foundation coverage. So this is a skin tip, but it does give me that really good, like almost foundation looking coverage. Also keep in mind, I've noticed that a lot of times that with different types of formulas, if something is a stick formula or something is a liquid formula, I realize that even if like they're the same product, the colors can just vary because they are two different formulas at the end of the day. But the color isn't too far off. Like I still think that both of these match me very well. Now, both of these products work really well with either a brush or a sponge or your fingers, as you can tell. I'm just showing you guys my preference on how I personally like to use these products the best. So this is what we look like side by side. This is the stick. This is the liquid. You guys can see. Obviously, if this is too much radiance for you, you can go ahead and set it with a powder of your liking um, or, I don't know, a sponge or something. But this is what they're looking like. So now we're gonna talk about some of the, the similarities that both of these have. So they both blur out your pores, which I do wanna say, I think that the liquid one blurs out your pores a little bit better than the stick one. I feel like the stick one just gives you more like your skin but better finish, like a truly your skin but better finish. Um, they both hydrate your skin definitely do see that i think that they're both very good hydrating products i am going to walk you guys through like the things that i would add and see how they layer on the skin so the first thing i'm going to go ahead and add to both sides is a little bit of some cream bronzer i don't want to go in with too much just because this is a very pigmented product but i'm going to add that much and i'm using the lys i typically use my fenty one but i actually just put it in my travel bag because i'm actually going to be going to new york for 24 hours guys so um the second part of this video is going to be New York. The last time I did that was when I reviewed um, the Makeup by Mario foundation and I was traveling to New York for my birthday and that's actually the last time I went was in December. Okay, this both sides blends like a dream and I think it's because both of these skin tints are just very hydrating products so everything really layers on very, very nicely. Next product that I like to use when I'm doing a quick on the go look is of course, blush this one is the fenty beauty cream blush in one of their new shades big melon i'm just going to take a little bit of product i don't want to go in with too much because i can be very heavy-handed but look how nicely that just melts into the skin so beautifully same thing with this side just melts so easy Add a little bit more because why not? I'm gonna be taking the Fenty Beauty Invisimat. This is something that they did recommend when I went to the Shade Match event in LA that they had for this product is to just go in with a little bit of the Fenty Beauty Invisimat powder. This powder is great to really control any of the oils. And what I like about this powder is that it's translucent and also the fact that it still gives you like a skin finish. It doesn't look like, oh my gosh, heavy makeup. But you guys can see. Work great with both sides. Didn't pick up on the product. My skin still looks like my skin, which I do appreciate. Nothing looks cakey. And of course I'll do my in natural lighting clips so you guys can see how this all looks together but this is what we have going on. So I'm gonna quickly finish off my eyes and put a little bit of a lip product on and then I'll come back for my last thoughts before I go ahead and start this day for the wear test. Hey bonitas, it is now 10 a.m. So now las 10, it is 10 a.m., 10.01. Let's talk about the skin tint. So this side we do have the Fenty Beauty Skin Tint Stick and here we have the Fenty Beauty Liquid Skin Tint. So you guys can see what they look like. I feel like once they set, they honestly look very similar color-wise. I feel like when we were first applying them, the stick definitely do, did look a little bit darker than the liquid. Even so, I do still feel like there's a tiny, tiny bit of a color difference. Let me actually go ahead and swatch this so that we can kind of like see it for ourselves. Maybe it's just like how it looks on the skin. We went in with the liquid and now we're gonna take the stick. This is actually really interesting. Do you guys see that? This is the liquid and that's the stick. It looks a little bit different color wise than the stick. So that's just something to note. There is a little bit of a color difference, but like I said, I feel like when you're, you know, playing with different formulas, there is going to be a slight change in the shade. It's nothing major, which is why I wanted to do in the back of the hand, because I feel like you can kind of see more of a true tone on the back of the hand. But I will say for the fact that they are skin tints, I think they do a really great job of covering the rosacea on my cheeks, which I definitely do appreciate because I feel like for me, even if I'm gonna be using a skin tint, I do want something that's gonna give me some coverage, especially on the cheeks. And I do feel like both of these are buildable products. So they are going to build up very nicely on the skin. So I am gonna go ahead and start my day. I will show you guys in natural lighting clips so you guys can see how this looks. And then I'll show you guys how these look at the end of the day in New York City. So 
stay tuned okay bonitas here is the full face of makeup so this right here is the side with the liquid ease drops como pueden ver and then this right here is the side with the stick so I feel like once they're both on, they honestly do look very similar. And I like the fact that they're giving us really nice everyday coverage and they both look like skin. Um, once it has set and everything, I feel like it does give us a really pretty just skin-like finish. I think they both look really good. So those are my thoughts. I'll see you guys later in New York City for my final thoughts on this wear test. So keep watching. Okay, bonitas, estamos in New York City. I'm so excited. I'm in my hotel room and I wanted to come back at 7.30 p.m. On this side we have the Fenty Beauty Liquid Ease Drop Skin Tint. And on this side we have the Fenty Beauty Stick Ease Drop Skin Tint. Um, so you guys can see, I feel like by the end of the day, they honestly both look very similar. I'm not noticing a huge difference. Um, and I also do appreciate the fact that they both wear really well. Like, look, they're still really nice and in place. I feel like for a skin tint, that is very important for me because obviously if I'm opting out of wearing a regular foundation because I want something quick and easy, I still want it to be long wearing. And Fenty Beauty does say these are long wearing products. And honestly, I think they are because look how good the skin looks. And I feel like these are the perfect, just like everyday, friendly, quickly getting the makeup done type of look. I will say perhaps the stick gets a tiny bit dewier than the liquid. I definitely do think that if you're somebody who's looking for more coverage, slightly more coverage in their skin tint, I think you'll really like the liquid one. Um, but honestly, for me, I've been really into this type of consistency because I feel like this is so quick and easy. You just kind of swipe it on your face, you blend it out with your fingers, y vamonos. If you're looking for more coverage and you just want it for like every day to build it up to almost that foundation feel, I think this one is good. Let me know down below which one you would get or which one you prefer. I definitely want to hear your thoughts. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing these type of videos for you guys. And I think that's it. So I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed, stay beautiful. Y las veo pronto. Adios bonitas.